Hey guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica, and today I'm here with some more wireless earbuds. These are the Jabra Elite sport wireless buds. These are very similar to Samsung's Gear Icon X as well as the Braggy Dash earbuds. They're completely wireless, so they're just these two little buds right here, and they track your workouts. They have a heart rate monitor in them. They can track cardio workouts as well as strength workouts through the Jabra Sport Life app, which is a very good app for activity tracking, not just for pairing your headphones that you might get from Jabra. I spent some time with them. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the good things and the bad things about these little guys. So the first good thing about the Jabra Lee Sport wireless is that they're pretty comfortable. They have a nice design. Now this is pretty much standard for all types of truly wireless earbuds. You just have these two little modules that stick in either ear. I like that Jabra gives you a bunch of these little ear wings and tips to get the right fit. And as we've examined before on ours, getting the right fit with these types of headphones is crucial for getting accurate heart rate measurements and activity tracking data. So they're very comfortable once you get the right ear wings and the right tips. These are plastic tips and they also come with foam ones. So you can kind of block out even more noise with that. So they're super comfortable and they're very easy to wear and they're not going to fall out of your ears when you're in the middle of a workout, which is great. Another good thing about the Elite Sport are that they can attract cardio and strength exercises. When you go into the Sport Life app, you can choose from a number of different things. One of the most simple things you can choose from are different cardio workouts, including walking, running, both indoor and outdoor, hiking and skiing and all that kind of stuff. And they will track your heart rate throughout that duration of that exercise. And you can make your own workouts as well by taking exercises like crunches, setting the number of reps that you want, and then adding more and more exercises in and as well as a uh, rest periods so you can kind of create your own circuit right in the app and then track them with this. And there are also some pre-made strength exercises that Jabra has made so if you don't want to worry about making your own you can follow one of theirs that targets specific parts of your body so you're not just limited to cardio you can do strength as well. The last good thing about the Elite Sport Wireless is that Jabra has this thing called their fitness level that they give you at the end of every workout. Now it's kind of a mix of your estimated VO2 max and just you know how well your body can perform these rigorous exercises. Now with VO2 max, you know, it's still always gonna be an estimate, like with Fitbit's new devices that can measure VO2 max. It's always an estimate, you should take it with a grain of salt, but I do like how Jabra kind of translates that into a motivational tool with their fitness level assessment. You're given this score where it tells you how well your body can perform exercise compared to other people in your age and gender range. Over the course of my time using these earbuds saw an improvement. I think my score started out in the mid 30s, which was pretty average. And then after I got pretty good at like my typical running and I run probably three times a week, four times a week, it got up into the mid 40s now, I think I'm up to. So you can really see it changing after every single workout that you track. And I appreciate that kind of instant gratification because a lot of times with scores like this, it might take a while and a lot of data for an app to kind of change anything for you. But with the Jabra uh, Sport Life app combined with this device, you do see a little bit of a change when you put in more effort into your workout, obviously, it'll change to reflect that. Now onto the not so good things. So the heart rate monitor is in the right earbud at the bottom here. And in my experience, I compared it to the Apple Watch Series 2. It was okay. It was very much like Jabra's um, Sport, I think it's the Sport Coach ones I reviewed in our big uh, wireless fitness bud roundup. It's just okay. A lot of the times it would be within 10 BPM of the Apple Watch. So it was a little bit off, but it's certainly not the worst. So I just would have liked to see a little bit more accuracy in this heart rate monitor, especially since that's where the bulk of the fitness data comes in. And with Jabba creating so many different types of fitness earbuds, I would have liked to see a little bit more of a refined monitor. Another iffy thing about the Elite Sport Wireless are their battery life. Now it's kind of typical to other kind of fully wireless earbuds. The buds themselves can last three hours on a charge. So when you're using them, you will only get three hours of music playback. That'll probably last you, you know, two, three workouts. So if that's all you're using them for, you'll get a couple days out of it. However, if you're someone like me who wanted to use these as my primary earbuds for workouts and commuting, 
that didn't last me a couple of days. I typically had to plug these in every night because the charging case holds about two more full charges. So that's around six hours extra of battery life. So if I didn't want to charge up the full case and the buds at one time, I would just put the earbuds back and then let them go and then worry about when they used up all the case's battery later. But to be safe, I kind of plug them in every night or at least every other night to ensure that both the buds and the case were fully charged. So the last iffy thing about the Elite Sport Wireless, they are pretty expensive. $250, whereas the Samsung Gear Icon X are only $200. There are not very many of these truly wireless buds out yet. They all kind of hover around $200. I will say that that price is kind of justified because Jabra's Sport Life app is pretty good compared to all of the other companion apps that you might get for these fitness wireless buds. Jabra's probably has the best one. So you are paying for the service, not just the earbuds, but it's still $250. So that's pretty steep, especially when you could go out and get a traditional fitness tracker for $250 that has a built-in GPS, a built-in heart rate monitor, and a bunch of other features that traditional trackers would have that maybe earbuds are not ready to do yet. So overall, my experience with the Elite Sport Wireless was a good one. I do think that the heart rate monitor needs to be a little bit more accurate for me to want to use them and invest in them so I could track all of my workouts with them. But I do like the app that Jabra has because it gives you a lot of power over your workouts more so than many of the other workout apps out there. And the fact that it also does connect to third-party apps is really nice if you are you know, used to using one of those. But I think earbuds in general for tracking fitness, we're definitely gonna see more of them in the next year or two. And hopefully they will become more accurate because the ear can be a good place to track heart rate. The convenience factor of these is awesome. The fact that they don't fall out when you're working out, the fact that they give pretty good sound quality, and Jabra also has this kind of hear-through technology that they like to call it, so you can incorporate background noise if you want to hear what's going on around you, or you can block it out and turn that off. So that's another really great way of giving you control over your audio, not just your fitness. I do really like these, but I would probably wait, number one, until they come down in price, and number two, until Jabra kind of refines the heart rate software and hardware even for it to be a little bit more accurate.